Hello children. Do you like to fly kite? Yes. Okay. Today we are going to study about kites. Before going into the chapter, we just see a short video on kite. This poem, The Kite, is written by Harry Behan. Harry Behan was born September 24, 1898 in Yavapai country, Arizona. He graduated from Harvard University with an SB in 1922. He worked as a scenario writer for motion pictures and was chiefly associated with King Vidor's film. Behan taught writing at the University of Arizona from 1938 to 1947 and founded the University of Arizona Press in 1960. He published his first book of poetry, Sister, in 1931 and at the urging of his children began writing children's book. In 1949, he published The Little Hill, a book of poetry for children. Behan wrote, and translated poetry for children, especially haiku and ryu on the poetic heritage of the Robert Louis Stevenson in his use of the child voice, as well as on what the critics call a thread of the transcendentalism. He also wrote fiction for older children and young adults, including the far away Lurs, 1963, Behan illustrated many of his work and received several graphic art and awards for his artwork. He died on September 6, 1993. The Kite The poet has drawn a beautiful picture of the flying kite through words in his, this poem. We all love to see flying kites, but never noticed how it flies. Though this beautiful word picture of a flying kite, the poet is just persuading the readers to fly one and note it, its beautiful moves. It's having beautiful moves when it's fly in the sky. So let's see what the poet has written in this. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new with a dive and a dip. It snaps its tail, then soars like a ship with only a sail. As over tides of winds it rides, climbs to the crest of a ghost and bulls, then seems to rest as winds falls. When its strings go slack, you win it back and run until a new breeze blows. And its wings fill 
and up it goes. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. But a ranker thing you never will see when it flaps on the string in the top of a tree. It's a beautiful poem narrated by the Harry Behn. Now, in the very first line, we can see how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail. Now, dive and dip, the new word here, the meaning of the dive and dip is to go into water with a force and softness together. And snaps means cracking sound. Blue, it is a color, but here it is used for the clear sky without clouds. The color of the sky is here blue. When the it's clear, the sky is clear when it's looking blue. So the writer, the poet, a kite looks bright on the clear sky. When it flies for the first time, it moves with softness and force together at the same time to fly, make its tail to create a cracking sound in the air. So here you can see the poet tells us how bright on the blue. The sky is so bright and blue is a kite when it's new, when the new kite is flying in the sky. With the dive and dip, it snap its tail. So when it moves with softness and force together at the same time, to fly makes its tail to create a cracking sound in the air. Now let's move to the next paragraph. As over tides of winds it rides, climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls, then seems to rest as winds fall. Now, source means fly high, climbs means to go up, sail means a cloth on a ship or a boat used to catch wind and help the boat to propel. Now, the tides. Tides, as you know, as you all know, rising and falling waves in the sea. Crest, crest means mountain, mountain top or of a tuft of the feathers on the head of a bird or animal. Now, here the right the poet explains, such moves helps it to float in the sky, just waves rising and falling with the sudden blow of the wind. It moves like a sudden blow into the wind and it's ups and downs like a tide, blow of winds. It goes up to the highest point in the sky in a wavy manner and the way a ship moves on the ocean. But as soon as the wind sh slows down, it seems as if it has a stop there to rest. So it's moving up and down all the time. Now let's move to the next stanza. When a string goes slack, you win it back and run until a new breeze blows. And its wings fill and up it goes. Now here the slack is means loose. When the thread tied to the kite loosens, the flies runs and rolls it back. He waits till a new breeze blows again and fills its wing with the air again to help it fly high. Now let's do the next paragraph. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new? But a wrangler thing you never will you see 
when it flaps on a string in a top of a tree a kite looks very bright and beautiful on a clear sky but when it gets stuck on a tree top it gets torn and gives a poor worn outlook which is not liked by the anyone so here the poet wants to tell us in the clear sky means when there are no cloud a kite will took bright in it will look bright in it it will be clearly noticeable the kite hurls and with every whack its tail produces a cracking sound then while flying all of sudden the kite goes up on the top just like a ship goes up and down on the crest of the waves with a sail cloth it moves forward when the wind is strong but as the wind falls it seems as if it is also taking a rest for a while in the air sometimes the threads tied to the kite loosen the flyer tries to to roll the thread and runs till a new breeze or air fills its wings a kite looks bright on the clear sky but when it gets stuck on a tree top it gets torn and gives a poor look now in other word we can see the kite looks bright when it is in the blue sky it dives dips snaps and soars like a ship riding on the wind the kite reaches to the crest immediately with a sudden gust it takes rest and with the fall of the wind it goes loose then with the help of the new breeze again it goes up it seems to us to be rangder when it flaps on the string on the top of a tree now here we can see the kite is a short melodious poem by Han- harry behan it is based on how a kite flies in the air and the majestic look it bears when it flies the poet begins with the exclamation of the how bright a new kite looks against the blue sky when it plunges and snap is tail the poet uses the simile like a ship to compare its gliding motion it looks as if it is sailing over the sea waves during the high tide as the kite flies high up with the wind it tugs hard and is thread and like so human it is tied out it then halts to rest when the kite has to be wound back till a new wind fills its high and uplifts it but the kite loses its splendor when its spring gets tangled in the tree top when but the kite loses its splendor when its spring gets tangled in a tree top it then becomes foppish and loses all its grandeur thus ends the journey of a kite this is the journey of a kite here it is now let's write the some word meanings which is given in this poem first is blue here in the poem sky the color of the sky second is dive to descend through air third is dip to lower and raise fourth is snaps to make sharp sound fifth soars to fly upwards sixth tides rise and fall in the air seventh is crest the highest part eighth is gust gust means a sudden blast of wind ninth is slack to get loose tenth is breeze light wind eleventh is rogder means rough and worn twelfth is flaps to move up and 
down write these word meanings in your copy after writing the poem you just write these word meaning in your copy after reading an explanation of the chapter we just move to the working with the poem first question is there list out the action words in the poem here are some dive dip and snaps let's move to the poem and find out the action word from the poems here we can see right here we can see right pulls falls fill blows goes flaps writes snaps soars these are the action words here we are going to write action words snaps snaps is given so we will write writes pulls falls run climbs blows goes flaps and soars so here we have find out from the poem writes pulls falls run climbs blow goes flap soars just move to the second exercise find out the meaning of these words and we have to find out the meaning of these words also so we have already done earlier now read these lines from the poem then soars like a ship with only a sail the moment of the tailless kite is compared to a ship with a sail this is called a simile simile means we are compare the one thing to the another or we can given we are giving example for one thing to another can you suggest what or who the following action may be compared to now here we can see in our um, poem he runs like a in our poem there are so many similes as there we have seen earlier is a kite when it's new with a dive and then soars like a ship so here the simile we have already seen soars like a ship
Now here we are going to write he runs like a snail. Like a snail. He eats like a horse. She sings like like canary. Canary. It shines like diamond. And the next is it flies like bird. So here the comparison between the snail. Snails is very so slow. So it is compared like a, he runs like a snail. He eats like a horse. She sings like a canary. Canary is a bird. It shines like a diamond. And it flies like a bird. Birds is a, um, a diamond here. It's a very precious stone. And it shines too much. So it's called, it shines like a diamond. Now let's move to the next exercise. This is only for the fun. Try to make a kite with your friends. Collect the things required such as color, paper, newspaper, thread, glue, a thin stick and that can be bent. After making the kite, see if you can fly it. This is, this is your assignment. In summer holidays, you can make this. This is your homework that you have to make in summer holidays. Try to make a kite. Comprehension of the poem, we can write some question and answer. The first question which is based on the this uh, poetry is how does the poet describe the beauty of a kite? Now, we can write like this, a kite looks beautiful, it's a lovely and bright in the blue sky, it looks more beautiful when it dances moving its tail high up in the air. Here you can see with dive and dip it snap its tail. So a kite looks beautiful. It's a be lovely and bright in the blue sky. It looks more beautiful when it dances moving its tail high up in the air. The second question. When does the kite become ragged? In the last stanza of the poem, we can see the answer. It becomes ragged when it is entangled in the branches of the tree. It flutters its wings to get free. Sometimes it is torn. When it is entangled with the branch of the trees, it flutters its wings to get free. Sometimes it is torn. So, this is the answer. When does the kite become dragged? Now, the third question. What thing will you collect from the making a kite? Now, I have already given you summer holidays assignment. So, these are the things to make a kite. Following things are needed for kite making a kite. Colored paper gum or glue, three sticks, strings. How does the new kite look? Now in the very first line you can find the new kite looks bright. How bright on the blue? So it is description of a kite. The kite looks bright. Now fifth question, how does it snap its tail? How does it snap its tail? It snap its tail with the dive and dip. Here you can see the answer. In third line, you can see the answer. 
it is snap its tail with a dive and a dip now next question is how does the poet compare the kite to a ship now either you here you can see then soars like a ship with the only a snail then the kite soars like a ship with the snail here you can see the so the kite soars like a ship with the sail here you can see this answer the seventh question is when does the kite look bright when it look bright the kite looks bright when it is new in the first line you can see how bright on the kite blue is a kite when it's new so the kite looks bright when it is new so these are the answers or questions for the recapturation of the poetry now again i am going to give a sum up about this poem before concluding this video i would like to sum up this poem again a new kite is a wonderful to watch diving and dipping in the blue sky it moves its tail with a noise it soars high with the wind at this time it is sails like a ship with only one sail it rides on the current of the air just as the ship rides on the waves of the ocean when the wind falls it seems to rest when the string which holds the kite goes slack the master of the kite winds back the string the kite comes back to the earth it is there again in the sky when a new wind blows filling the wings of the kite with the air again however when the string of the kite is caught in a tree the kite flaps it turns into a very torn and dirty thing so this is the journey of a kite that's all for today have a good day before concluding this uh, video i would like to uh, revise the exercises which are given in this chapter list out the action word in the poem and the dive dip is there snaps is there we have to write more so the source rides climbs pulls falls run blows goes and flaps these words these action words we have found in the poem and find out its meaning also we have to write the meaning also which we have already discussed now here read these lines from the poem then soars like a ship with only a sail the moment of the tailless kite is compared to a ship with a sail this is called a simile where there is a two things are there and we are having comparison that time we we it uh, we call it simply so now here we can see can you suggest what or who the following action may be compared to now we have to write the answer first he runs like a snail he eats like a horse she sings like a canary it shines like a diamond flies like a bird now we have already discussed some question and answer and this last question it is given for the summer holidays so you just complete it how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new with a dive and a dip It snaps its tail. The shores like a ship. With only a sail, as over tides of wind, it rides. Climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls. 
then seems to rest as wind falls. When string goes slack, you wind it black and run until a new breeze blows. And its wings fill and it goes. How bright on the blue, it's a kite. You never will see in the top of a 